Hey, what's up guys? Nick here and today I'm bringing you a new video. Sorry if my voice still sounds a little bit dead. I'm recording this video probably about two minutes after my previous video that I just uploaded on my channel. So my voice is still a little bit sore, unfortunately. But today we're jumping into Super Fiesta. Hopefully we're going to get some good luck. Normally in this playlist is either I get a bot shot and a plasma pistol or I get a Norn Fang and a Delta or something. So I'm hoping for the better weaponry. Hopefully I actually get some good luck this time and we have a good time. But I have something really interesting to speak to you all about. So hopefully we'll have a good time. Okay, we've got a game of Super Fiesta on regret. This is a really, really fun map. Hopefully I get some good weapons as I said in the intro. Getting a bad weaponry can just leave for a really, really bad time in Super Fiesta, so fingers crossed. I've got a rocket and an instant right off the bat here. If I can get a kill, I'll be happy enough. Nope, yep, 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 yep. There you go, I'll take it, I'll take that. But the topic of today's video is something really, really cool, as I got to do something yesterday as of recording this video, which was super unique, something I've never, ever got to do before that I actually had a lot of fun doing. I thought we'd make for an interesting topic uh, for YouTube, and I wanted to speak about it a little bit, as it's something that I don't get to do every single day. But before I do that, I've got the triple kill. Why did you stop moving? God, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. Okay, we're actually still going off though. Oh my god, we're going off. No, no. But yesterday, I got to go into a college and give a presentation about my YouTube channel, what it is to be a YouTuber, what it takes, how much work it takes to get to a certain place on YouTube where you can actually turn it into a bit of a job for yourself. And it was so much fun as I was invited there and the class was super cool. They were super interested. They wanted to hear about it. Uh, I could have went into a college class full of people that didn't care whatsoever or, you know, didn't want to hear what I had to talk about. But I went in and they were super, super interested. It was super nice and it was super Super fun speaking in front of a class like that as I've never really given a presentation like that before of course back when I was in college I had to make PowerPoint presentations and speak about stuff that I really didn't care about whatsoever so it was cool actually making a PowerPoint and talking about something that I had a major interest in obviously YouTube uh, I was speaking about you know what type of videos I make how I edit my videos all that stuff how my own college course kind of helped me uh, along with doing YouTube as I learned some skills whenever I went there like Photoshop and some video editing stuff so it was really 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 fun uh, of course going back into college was kind of terrifying as I didn't have that much fun while I was there I just didn't have that much fun in education in general but it's kind of cool being on the other side being more of the you know the teacher or the the lecturer or presenter kind of role instead of just being a student sitting there uh, of course there were some students who were sat there and they couldn't give a couldn't give a crap what I was talking about they really could not care less about me being a YouTuber or anything like that. But that's completely fine. Obviously, there were some people there that were interested in doing YouTube themselves or maybe were doing YouTube, so they weren't too sure on how to start their channel or how to get anywhere. So it was really nice. It was just a really, really, really cool experience for me to get to go in there and actually do that. And apparently, I was so good that some of the teachers said, some of the students also said that it was the best presentation they've ever had, ever, in the college. So that is one hell of a... Uh, of a compliment to give me, someone who's never really done that kind of thing before. I've literally never given a presentation like that once in my life. So the fact they said it's the best one ever for like my first time ever doing that was really, really nice. So maybe that's my future. Maybe my, my future is going into colleges and speaking about being a YouTuber instead of actually doing YouTube. You never know. But I wanted to speak about this to you guys as I wanted to talk about public speaking and the confidence like that kind of stuff in general as it is something that I struggled with for quite a long time. I was not someone who was always super okay with doing that kind of thing as well speaking in front of groups can be terrifying i'll be first to admit it can be very very scary if you're not used to it whatsoever back in high school my teachers seemed to always really like my voice for whatever reason they think uh I had a nice accent for whatever reason. I do sound very different from other people in my area. I'm not too sure why that is. I just have a really different voice. I think it's because of all the American media I've watched throughout the my time on the internet. I've just kind of developed a, a stranger, weirder accent compared to people around me, I guess. I, that's the only explanation I can really think of. But my teachers would always ask me to do the reading or if we had assembly or something, that would get me to do you know, the speaking in front of the entire school because I was the best at doing it, apparently. Sometimes I do feel like I do struggle in my speaking a little bit. I stutter from time to time I do mumble a lot as I don't know if you can tell but sometimes I do mumble or sometimes I do stutter over words but I used to be so bad I used to be so much worse at doing that kind of stuff it was insane my parents would always be like Nick I don't know what you're saying you're mumbling over your words so much I literally could not you know pronounce my words at all but doing YouTube and all this stuff has obviously helped me out so much because I'm forced to speak I'm forced to talk a lot from doing YouTube as I'm always making videos and all that stuff of course of course my live stream as well helps me a ton so if any of you are people who also struggle in speaking or mumbling a lot and who do YouTube 
the more you do it the better you'll get and if you don't do youtube that's completely fine there are many other ways you know just by practicing speaking or maybe if you do struggle uh, by stuttering a lot or mumbling like i did maybe starting youtube isn't the worst idea for you you know obviously you're worried that you know you'll do you commentaries and people will laugh at how you speak but that's not it whatsoever people won't really care whenever you're first making videos it's all about you and you having fun making videos that's why you should start making youtube videos in the first place but the more i did public speaking the more i did youtube i got more confident in my own voice i got more confident in speaking in front of big groups and i just became a lot more comfortable at doing it i actually started having fun doing it as well as i don't know something weird something odd about being in front of a big group like that and them all listening to you. it's kind of fun in that regard it's kind of nice having you know a group of people listening to you and i think that's why i love doing youtube so much because i have an audience of people that want to hear what i'm speaking about that are actually interested in hearing what i have to talk about which is really cool it's really really fun but something that helped me out a lot as well in that regard was i used to be a climbing instructor to those of you that didn't know that i used to be a climbing instructor don't ask me how or why i actually hate heights uh not so much anymore but whenever i started i absolutely hated it but in that job one of my responsibilities was to give safety briefings to a group of like 30 people at a time so I've been very used to speaking in front of big groups of people quite a lot so I know it can be terrifying I know it can be scary but you just gotta remember the people you're speaking to really won't care that much they really don't care that much if you stutter or if you mumble or whatever you know they're just there to hear what you're talking about and some of them won't care at all so they won't even pay attention to what you're saying in the first place the reason why i wanted to talk about this is because it's something that has kind of affected me quite a lot through my life in many different situations so i thought it'd be nice to speak to all of you about and kind of help any of you that maybe aren't that confident or maybe get very anxious when it comes to public speaking i'm not saying it's super easy uh, me just saying oh be confident people don't care what you're speaking about will make it instantly easier but just know if you practice it if you do it you know in private even if you're in your own bedroom just speaking to yourself you know giving presentations or making youtube videos like what i did it will become a lot easier you will become a lot more confident over time and you know naturally it will just become easier if the more you do it that goes for anything in life but it was a lot of fun having this opportunity to give a presentation in front of this class it was a lot of fun i kind of wish i had recorded myself doing it so i could upload it i would have been pretty cool as uh, i did cover a lot of different things about youtube and how i got to where i am you know what it takes to be a youtuber i basically just answered a lot of questions that i get in my youtube comments so it would have been very very good of me to upload to my channel for some of you that might have been interested in that kind of stuff but Oh well, if I ever get the opportunity to do it again, I will be sure to record myself doing it and uh, upload it for all of you. Okay, so I thought instead of ending the video with that, I would just play one more match on Rat Race here to see if I could hit anything cool or do anything semi-cool for the video. I'm still feeling very, very sick, unfortunately. I hate being sick. Last time I was this sick was... I can't even remember. I literally don't ever get sick. I do remember one time, though, that I did get very, very ill and I was literally sick for, I don't know, probably like two or three weeks. It was awful. I... Literally have never felt worse in my entire life, so I hope I never ever become that bad again. The thing that does worry me quite a lot since I do do YouTube, if I ever become really sick and my throat becomes so sore to the fact that I can't even speak or anything like that, what am I meant to do? Like, how am I meant to actually make videos to, you know, keep my YouTube alive for a couple of weeks if I get really, really sick to the point where I can't even speak? I am pretty much screwed. I guess I could make videos and commentaries when I'm squeaking at all of you, you know, guys it's nick here today i'm bringing you a brand new video but i feel like that'll be super annoying to hear so i don't know hopefully i never get that sick i guess if i ever do i could just ask one of my friends to make my commentaries for me even though that would not make any sense whatsoever but i guess for a few weeks i would just have to focus on gameplay stuff and you know little montages here and there instead of actually doing commentaries that would suck that'd be so awful please just hope that i never ever ever get that sick as i would be really really in a tough spot after that okay i've got an end game Oh my goodness, get it. Oh, got a two for one. Okay, that was sick. That was random. But we take those. No, no. Dude, why are you behind me? I was about to go off. I was ready to murder your entire team. And you... Ah, oh, you assassinate me. That's so frustrating. Okay, the Bane Whiplash combo. Oh my god. Ah! Okay, that was terrifying. Let me away from that situation. I'm not trying to die right now. Woo! Okay, okay, we're going off. We're going off. Oh my god. No. I choked. I'm so sad. That could have been a huge clip for me. God damn it. I hate this game, dude. I'm so upset. No. Okay, we're fine. Dude, I choked. We're fine. Everything's fine. I'm not worried. Oh, okay. That was really, 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 really close. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh get in my yard here oh okay that's fine i got 26 kills in the end i might have choked a little bit with my rocket but that's okay 
it happens to the best of us. Alright guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed hearing me talk about the little presentation that I gave and how public speaking is something you shouldn't worry about too much and also my entire choke with the profits being a whiplash in that last game. <sighs> Very upsetting. But if you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you drop a comment. Let me know any thoughts about anything that I spoke about. And if you're brand new to the channel and you enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Love you all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.